Hi, Ari, it's Travis Senior, and we're going to do a new Let's Play today, and that Let's Play is going to be a World of Warcraft Classic Let's Play. I've currently been playing uh, World of Warcraft Classic for the last two weeks, and I've hit level 53 on my Orc Warrior, and I did a lot of dungeon spamming during it. Didn't really get to experience much of the world. I've had some funny moments in PvP action. But most of it was just dungeon spamming. And I didn't like that too much. So I'm going to level again. But in a, a more RPG way. Which will inc include a lot more questing. A lot more being out in the world. Stuff like that. And I'm going to set a couple of guidelines. For this new character that I'm making. And these guidelines are. I'll only do a dungeon if it is to complete a quest. I'll not spam a dungeon, so I'll only do a dungeon once. I'll never do a dungeon more than once. I will not mail this character any gear or gold from my main, and I will not accept any trades from other players that make th to make the game easier for me and my journey to 60. I will not accept any shared quests, so that means I have to go out and get the quests myself. And I will not group up or make questing easier Unless it is clear that the quest requires more than one person to complete. And I will also remove all of my add-ons. Because uh, clearly they made my uh, my journey on my warrior a lot easier. That journey isn't even complete. But I'll, I'll finish that one up pretty soon. So I'm going to disable all my add-ons. And... Yeah, I think that's it. I think those are pretty good guidelines. No dungeon spamming. Not accepting any trades. Or mailing my character any gear to make the progression to 60 easier. No add-ons. Just pretty much a, a Let's Play where I just quest out in the world. And we're going to pretty much just quest all our way to 60. And see, uh, see how that experience is. And then... I guess compare the two when we're all done. So let's create this new character. Going for a, a Torn, Torn Druid. And skin color. And I'll have like a little mix. Go for a little bit of a mix. That looks good. Take that one. Face. Face looks good to me right now. I think that looks good. Horn style. Gotta have the big horns. Big Texas horns. Horn color. I guess we'll try to match skin color with that. I think that would be the this would be the choice. Maybe this would be the choice. Yeah, that kind of kind of matches. And then facial hair. Got to give him a beard. You know, that's a kind of a beard right there. And what will we name our druid? I don't know. Let's see, we clearly want to be horde because we can only be horde on this server. Chose Torn because for a Druid, I believe you can only be Torn, correct? Yeah, you can only be Torn as a Druid. And Druids live in a state of unparalleled union with nature tightly bound to the plant and animal kingdoms. They are natural shapeshifters, and so they know firsthand the abuse visited on their wild brethren. In consequence, despite their numbers... Druids tend to be wary, reclusive, and difficult to spot. <laughs> Few outsiders have plumbed the depths of their secrets. Interesting. So as a Tauren, always a Tauren strive to preserve the balance of nature and heed the will of their goddess, the Earth Mother. 
Well, it sounds like they're they're meant to be druids. Recently attacked by a murderous centaur, the Torin would have been wiped out, save for a chance to encounter with the orcs, who helped defeat the interlopers. To honor this blood debt, the Torin joined the Horde, solidifying the two races' friendship. May stomp stunning nearby opponents. Maximum health is increased. Herbalism skill is increased. Maybe we'll pick that up. Resistant to nature damage. And the Horde. Four races compromise the Horde. The Brutal Orcs, the Shadowy Undead, the Spiritual Tauren, and the Quick-Witted Trolls. Beset by enemies on all sides, these outcasts have forged a union they hope will ensure their mutual survival. Alright. Well, we've gone over that. We've created our character, sort of like a a milk chocolate, you know? It's like a milk chocolate cow. Got a little beard, looking pretty good. And what I want to do with this druid, most likely, is to be a flag carrier in BGs. So maybe this that is what we'll name him. We'll name him Flag Carrier. BGs, to anyone who's not played this game and want to know what I mean by BGs, BGs are Battlegrounds. And in Battlegrounds, there's a Capture the Flag map. And Druids are supposedly the best flag carriers in the game. So pretty much they would pick up the flag from the opposing team and run it back to your base to capture it. And they're supposedly the best at that. So I'm going to name uh, our Druid flag carrier. Because that's what we want him to be eventually down the road. So let's start this journey. All the add-ons are off. I'm going over it again. All the add-ons are going to be off. Not accepting any trades or mailing this character anything to make it easier to get to 60. Only going to do quests. Mostly. And I will not spam dungeons. And I only do dungeons if I have quests in them. And I will only do quests by myself unless... It is specified that I'm going to need help to do that quest. So let's get that going. Here we go, guys. New journey. World of Warcraft. Classic. Okay, disable add-ons. Make sure all of our add-ons are disabled. Disable all. Okay, they're all disabled. I'll make sure I show everybody they're disabled. <laughs> So I just don't want, don't want any add-ons to be on when I start this. I will probably still use add-ons in my main, but for this Let's Play, no add-ons at all. Once a nomadic people, the Torin roamed the endless plains of the Barrens, hunting the mighty Kodo. Scattered across the land, tribes were united only by their common hatred for their sworn enemy, the marauding centaur. Seeking aid against the centaur, the great chieftain Cairn Bloodhoof befriended the savage orcs who had recently journeyed to Kalimdor. With the orcs' help, Cairn and his tribe were able to drive back the centaur and claim the grasslands of Mulgore for their own. Upon the windswept mesa of Thunder Bluff, Cairn built a refuge for his people. Over time, the scattered tribes united under a single banner. Though the noble Torren are peaceful in nature, the rites of the great hunt are venerated as the heart of their spiritual culture. As a tribesman of Mulgor, you must test your skills in the wild and prove yourself in the great hunt. All right, we gotta prove ourselves as a Torin. Okay, well we got this all set up. Well Making met. sure the add-ons are off; they're all disabled. So let's do friend. this. Greetings, flag carrier, and welcome to Camp Narache. News of your arrival spread quickly among the tribe. The hunt begins. You have a promising air about you. And will prove yourself to the tribe. Perhaps someday soon you will be welcomed into the great city of Thunderbluff. But before that can happen, you must prove yourself to my father, Cheek Hawkwind. Up here on Red Cloud Mesa, we pride ourselves on keen hunting skills. 
Torin hunt out of necessity and for sport. Our supply of meats has run low, and we require feathers for clothing. Hunt the nearby plain striders and prove yourself by resupplying the village. Grow Hawkwind in camp Narache wants you to bring him seven plain strider feathers and seven pieces of plain strider meat. You'll be able to choose one of these rewards, a nomadic belt, or these ch male chain gloves. It looks like the belt will be our choice. Ancestors watch over you. Most likely. We have another quest over here. Let's go check that out. Oh. The humble ta humble task. All members of the tribe share in the harmony of life. We live together and work together. Our commitment to one another carries with it a high degree of responsibility. I ask you now a humble task. My mother set out this morning to fetch water from the well to the southeast of Narache. It has been, I hope I'm saying that right, it has been quite some time now. Perhaps you could check on her for me while I attend to tribal matters here. Chief Hawkwind wants you to search for his mother near the water well to the southeast of Camp Narache. May the eternal well, sun Hopefully his mother's shine. okay. So we gotta we pretty much gotta get the town some food. We gotta go uh, find uh, Chief Hawkwind, his mother. So let's check out our moves here. We got this is our general moves. We got attack. We got cultivation. That's like all our torn stuff. Herbalism skill increased by thirteen. Dodge gives a chance to dodge enemy melee attacks. Not bad. Endurance. Total health increased by 5%. Nature resistance. Nature resist increased by 10. And War Stomp, which is stuns in up to five enemies within eight yards for a couple seconds. All right, so yeah. Get that going. We'll check out our interface. And uh, action bars. I guess we'll get our uh, action bars up there. Might as well. There we go. Um, any social stuff we want to change? No. Not a big deal. Show helm, show cloak. Yeah, we want to show everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. Auto loot. Should we put auto loot on? I don't really think it matters. Actually, no, I want to loot stuff, see what I pick up. I don't want just to jump in my bags. Invert amount of accessibility, raid profiles. Raid profiles really don't matter. We won't be grouping up that much with people. I think that's it. As long as we got our action bars up, we're good. Okay, well, we have a couple quests here. A humble task. And the hunt begins. I wonder where these... Uh, See what this person has Hail. for us. A task unfinished. Flag carrier, please, I beg of you. Can you help me? I have not finished my task here on the Mesa. I'm in the middle of my right of, of strength, and my father asked me to deliver these furs to the inn in Bloodhoof. I'm far from rested enough to complete both my right and this task for my father. Would you mind going for me? The inn is pleasant and perfect, and a perfect place to rest during your long travels. I'm sure you'll agree once you see it. Bring this bundle of furs to the innkeeper, Koth, in Bloodhoof Village. Gold in peace. I don't even know where Bloodhoof Village Three is. Minutes. You'll be able to choose one of these rewards, some food or some water. Okay. Be careful. Well, it's all right. Get some food and some water. Got to get food for the, the people of uh, Red Cloud Mesa. We're just following the road right now. Hopefully we find some plane striders. We have a couple moves here. Let's check our, check our moves again. Put our food and our water on the bars here. Our balance moves. We have Wrath. Causes 12 to 14 nature damage to the target. And Healing Touch. Heals a friendly target for 37 to 51. That's big. Well, look at this dead prairie wolf on the ground. Seems like they, uh, they're they hostile, the prairie wolves. They don't really like the torrents too much. They're also a, a hungry group. 
Oh, we got guild invites. I wonder if I should join a guild. Probably not. The chat will be a little annoying. I wonder if there's any way for me to get rid of those invites. Guild invites. Guild member alert. None. Online turn off. Real ID. Oh my gosh, I'm getting attacked. Swing at him. This guy's level 6. Okay, I think maybe we went a little too far. <laughs> Run! <laughs> this is rough. We might die here. No, we won't. We're not dying. Not today. Is that a plane strider? Level 6 beast. Yeah, these guys are too strong for us. Okay, well, we made it. We made it. Let's use our let's use our healing touch. Heal this to full. I don't think we can kill that level six beast at level one. There's probably some more some more quests to do. That's a hard quest. That bundle of wood. That's a tough one because it's orange. The the yellow ones mean uh, it's around your level, and then if uh, it's green, it's a little bit under your level. And if it's gray, then it doesn't, you don't really get much of a reward for it. This is pretty much you're out of its league. Okay, well, we're going back to town. I think we went the wrong way. That's going to happen a lot in this series. I'm going to go the wrong way a lot. I don't have any quest helpers helping me, anything like that. But that's, uh, that's what the journey's all about, you know? Figuring it out yourself. You have a promising air about you. Okay, well, we want to find where this meat is. I assume the meat is is around here. Probably just to the south of the town. And we have to find this guy's mother. She's supposedly, uh... She went to fetch some water to the southeast of Narachi. Which would be, uh, right around here. There's a tiger there. Mountain tiger. These guys are a lot more friendly. Not still hostile, but they won't attack you unless you attack them. Here's some plane striders. Try to deal with these guys here a little bit. Yeah! There we go, we're swinging at them. Trying to get the sound just right. I want to make sure the game sound isn't too low for you guys. So we got some plain Strider meat. It's good. Plucked feather. And now we have a bent large shield. We'll take that. Let's try kneeling him down. We're going to give, it, give him a wrath. Oh, these wraths are powerful. This plain strider has got nothing on us. This is easy meat. Easy food. Got some feathers. Okay, uh, here we go. We're gonna wrath them down. My mana is low. Smacked him in the face. Get the meat, crack shell, leg meat. Don't have much bag space. So that's that gonna take us some time. Let's wrath them down. Smack him. Yeah, give him the staff. Ran out of mana. I have a feeling that's going to be a big deal for my druid. Making sure I have enough mana. Here we go. Wrath him down. I need more mana. This is how we hunt as druids. Use spells and our staff. It's a rainy day today. Rainy day in Camp Narache. Gonna be a lot of farming. Not enough 
I played my warrior on launch, like this place, like, like the first zone. Like it was packed. I might do a little video of uh, what that experience was like. I need more mana. The first uh, couple hours of uh, launch is probably pretty interesting to see. So you probably won't see that again for quite some time. Here we go, level two, guys. We have hit level two. We have Plane Strider Meat. We have our seven Plane Strider Feathers. The town is going to be eating well today. And now we have to go southeast, which is like looking like this way. We got to go find... Got to go find... Uh, find his mother. Chief Hawkwind's mother. Should probably get some more meat. Maybe sell it. I'm out of range. You know? Don't want to kill too much of the livestock, you know? They need to reproduce. So we can keep getting meat and feathers from them. Our skills are going up as well here. Our restoration skill, our balance skill, and our staves defense have been going up while we're doing this. I wonder if I should move this chat. I wonder if I can unlock it in any way. Unlock window. Yeah, we can move it up a bit so people can see the, can see the chat, I guess. And then we'll lock it. Kind of don't know what I want to... Uh, check the settings here. Blizzard whispers, whispers, officer chat. I'm not going to yell, I guess. We'll keep party leader. Instance leader. Should we have global channels? Yeah, I guess. Local defense, all that, whatever. I don't think that's, that's like, taken away from the experience. It's part of the RPG of WoW. Yeah, I'll move that up a bit so people can see it. Yeah, let's keep on moving uh, a little... A little south, southeast here. Try to find his mother. I have a feeling she's at the caves. It's going to be cool level in this druid, though. Much should be much different than level in my warrior. Nice, we got some wrists. Twenty-five armor, male I wrists, but we can't wear them because they're male. Rough. But my warrior, I could just pick up something and put it on. Much different as a druid. It's like you can only be wearing the leather. Plucked feather. Let's pick one of those up. Gonna be getting a lot of these. Salt the fries. This invites me to join Shrek Swamp. I decline. Wonder if I can stop getting these invites. Or if I can ask the interface. Block guild invites. There we go. Block trades. Yeah, we're, we're going to block trades. We're going to block guild invites. I think we'll just block guild invites. Yeah, no, block trades. We don't want trades from people. Remember that. Gotta remember the rules, man. Okay, this guy's a level four bristle back. Quill bore. If his mom's in that cave... We gotta go in. But I think we're gonna have to get a couple levels here. I think we can kill these battle boars. We'll see. We'll see how this fight goes. We dumped a bunch of mana into them. Now we're going for some swings. Still have a nice heal going down. The mana's going up nice and fast. Yeah, we can fight these battle boars. More male boots. We're gonna have a lot of stuff to sell. Yeah, there's nobody here. Nobody questing here. Amazing. Amazing how it's only been two weeks. And uh, there's just not a lot of people during in the, in the in the starting zones. Which makes you think. Maybe layering is uh, going to be gone soon, but... I got my fingers crossed. Hopefully before phase two they get rid of layering. That's something I didn't really enjoy while leveling my warriors. 
was uh, the layering system. Took away from the world PvP for sure. So another thing I'm looking forward to is PvP and all my druid. Stealth has always been something that I I enjoy as a class. But I didn't want to be a rogue. Alright, the Bristleback Cool Boar. Think we can beat him? I need more mana. This looks like we're leaving this place, going out to uh a wasteland. I hope she's not here. I don't think I'm ever gonna find her mother. She just said to the southeast in Narache. Doesn't get any more southeast than this. Okay, well, we'll come back. I don't think she's here. Why would she go here? Unless she got captured by Quillbores. Right? So, I'm not too sure where she is. We're just going to go a little bit more south. Let me get in a couple, a little bit more fights, you know. Try to keep that mana regenning. Not enough. Try a war stomp out. Strong stun. Those wraths are strong, man. I tell you. They're strong. So let's see if she's around here. Humble task. Call members of the tribe share how many in life. We went to one another's humble task. My mother set out this morning to fetch some water from the well to the southeast. We gotta we should probably look for that well. Might give us a clue. Quite some time. Check on her. Okay, well. Let's check this well out. Clearly there's no well here. I don't think they would have the well near the quill wars. Quillboar camp. Well, oh, this guy's strong. We don't have much mana left. Hopefully we can melee him down. Parried our attack. Our staves has gone up to nine. Get some tough jerky, that's good. We got some food now. It's for 61 health. Thing is, I don't know if we need food that much if we have a heal. Like we most likely will be selling that. I think this is the, this is the well. Maybe. Maybe we went a little too far. So we're gonna travel. Uh, travel a bit more here. Is that the well? Or is that just like a big big flag thing? Some plane striders here. Maybe this is the well. It's starting to look a little bit like a well kind of, I don't know. It more looks like kinda of like a windmill. Oh, there she is. Great Mother Hawkwin. Found her. That's cool. Well met. You travel all this way just to help an old woman? My man, aren't you a keeper? You'll receive 17 copper. May the eternal sun shine upon thee. A humble task. I've traveled many paths through my life, and these old legs lack the vigor they at once had. I can still perform my duties to the tribe. Sometimes it just takes an old woman a little longer to do the task. You look like an eager druid. Let's put some of that youthful vitality to the test. 
take a water pitcher from the well and bring it to my son, the chief in Camp Narache. Remember that even the most humble task can gain the recognition of elders. Take a water pitcher from the water well. Turn that pitcher to Chief Hawkwind in Camp Narache, which is northwest of the water well. Walk with the earth. Mother. Well, that is nice of them to uh, you know, tell me where the camp is. So pick up this. Jerry. My inventory's full. This happens a lot in Classic. I guess we'll get rid of uh, get rid of the food. I assume the food is the cheapest. Something we don't really need. But yeah, we we'll go. I guess we'll go deliver that. We completed uh, three tasks. Now we just need to deliver. I think we'll try to hit level three. Kill a it's couple of these uh, level ones over here. Inventory is full. Our inventory is full. Now we're just killing them for nothing. My mana is low. You resisted my wrath. Well, I guess we get to train our staves now. I can't cast that yet. He's down. Mana is like going down fast. Gonna need to get some water. I think that'll be what we take off of that lady. Is the is the water? Could probably use that stuff or drop it on the floor. I kind of want to hit level three. We'll probably hit level three when we hand in these quests, most likely. So, let's turn these in. And here's the lady that we gotta deliver the water for. Greetings. Another city. Here we go. Should we probably sell... Be careful. Sell some stuff so we can accept these rewards. What brings you here? Get rid of these tusks, get rid of these... Chained all this stuff that we can't use. Bundle of furs. It's a quest item. Some water, some red apple. Plucked feather, plucked feathers. Meat, cracked eggs, ruined pelt. Water pitcher, it's a quest item. We're already at one silver, 32 copper. Hail. Going up in the world. Get ourselves a nomadic belt. And then we'll hand in this next quest. Ah, oh, I've been expecting you. There we go. Walk with the earth. We're level three, guys. And that's going to be the end of uh, today's episode. Next episode, we'll finish some more quests for Camp Narache. And we'll continue in our journey of Azeroth. Until next time, guys. Keep your heads up. Later.